from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, I'm Penn State student meteorologist Matt Urasavik. It is a change of pace today. Temperatures still into the 30s here in State College, but no rain in the forecast for at least the next couple of days. And already we can see the sun trying to come up over Mount Nittany and Beaver Stadium there in the foreground. Just a few clouds there this morning, but it will be a mainly sunny day across the state and it will continue to be a dry pattern at least through the weekend. 30 degrees outside right now. It feels like 21, so when you head out to class this morning, make sure you take a little bit of a jacket. It was a little chilly on the walk in this morning, but that west northwest wind is what why we are blaming that 21 degree feels like temperature this morning. Those winds out of the west northwest filtering in some of that colder Arctic air from Canada. And we can see that right here. Some of these clouds still hanging up in the northwestern parts of the state. That is coming off of the lakes. And actually, we could see a few snow flurries later this afternoon and into tomorrow morning up in places like Erie and Bradford. Maybe a few lake effect snow flurries could make it down here to State College but it won't amount to all that much, and that will be the only precipitation in our forecast. Also, yesterday we did see that rain move through, and here on the early part of our loop, you can see Chester, Delaware, and even into Philadelphia counties saw that rain early this morning, but that is since moved off to the south and east over the Atlantic Ocean, and it, that's where it's going to stay. We've actually had this frontal boundary right down here to our south, and that's kind of been hanging tough over the last couple of actually weeks. It's just been kind of parked there and that will keep most of our cloud cover to our south and actually keep our next storm system to the south as well. It will only bring us a few clouds here in Pennsylvania uh, into our Thursday and then into Friday as well. Temperatures across the state right now not looking too bad for this morning. We're dealing with 30 degrees up in Erie, mid 20s up in the northwestern parts of the state, 30 here in State College. And then Harrisburg and Allentown already into the upper 30s and Philadelphia at 44 at this hour. And those temperatures will only climb here in central Pennsylvania into the mid 30s today. But it will be about a near average temperature day across the state. We can see though our cold air locked up in the central north central part of the country. Nine, negative 19 up in International Falls. A very, very cold morning up there. And that is where our cold air is coming from. A high pressure system centered about over Wisconsin is what is bringing us that northwesterly flow and filtering some of those chillier temperatures that we're seeing today and also into tomorrow. Future weather we're looking at here, not much on it. We do see a few lake effect snow showers up in the northern tier of the country, maybe even that southern tier of New York State as we head into the afternoon hours today, but that won't amount to all that much. And then as we head into the overnight hours into early tomorrow morning, we do see that cloud cover start to move back in. That's associated with our storm system that is down to the south. 25 there early tomorrow morning here in State College, and even a few lake effect snow flurries up in Erie and Bradford at that point. Then as we head into the rest of your day after lunchtime, maybe a few lake effect snow flurries do make it down here to State College. But as I mentioned earlier, it's not going to amount to all that much. You may see just a few flakes flying, but overall not a bad Thursday. Just a few more clouds in the sky than we're seeing today. 38 degrees will be that high temperature for later today. That's about where we're supposed to be this uh, this time of year and in, in February. But we do have that west north, that northwest wind, excuse me, coming out at 10 to 15 miles per hour, and that is going to keep things feeling just a little bit chillier than that 38 degrees. We also could see some gusts of about 25. So if you're wearing a hat today, make sure you hold on to that hat because there's a chance that you could get a wind gust and that hat could fly away. 19 degrees will be your low temperature overnight tonight. It'll be mainly clear but cold, and that west wind will die down just a bit at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Then for your day tomorrow, 29 degrees will be your high temperature. Will be mostly cloudy throughout the day. Maybe a few lake effect snow flurries, but overall not that bad of a day. Mostly cloudy skies will clear out late into the overnight hours. And then as we head into your Friday, it's looking absolutely beautiful for the start of Thon Weekend here at Penn State. Everybody looks forward to this every year. And this year, we have a great forecast. If you're going in and out of the Bryce Jordan Center over the weekend, 35 degrees will be that high for Friday while the students 
and all the, actually everybody really waiting to get into the Bryce Jordan Center there on Friday, 35 degrees. Then on Saturday, if you're coming and going, 46 degrees, it will be warming up a little bit, but more sunshine on the way. And then for your Sunday, as everybody kind of heads out of Bryce Jordan Center to go get some sleep, 49 degrees will be that temperature for Sunday and just a few more clouds in the sky. And then as we look at our seven day forecast after the weekend, we could see a few showers there Monday into Tuesday but temperatures really trending upward throughout the next uh, 48 hours or so. We'll head down to 29 on Thursday, but then temperatures trend up through the weekend with no precipitation except for Monday and possibly there Tuesday morning. But otherwise, a mostly sunny Thon weekend here at Penn State. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Matt Urasavik. Have a great Wednesday.